Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome in. Welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, divine mother, goddess Yamaya, and I am back with another intuitive message for you all. So come and have a seat with me. We're going to be doing a read for my sun, moon, and rising signs, specifically for all placements for Sagittarius. So Spirit directed me to the ancestors cards. They wanted me to take um, a oracle from the messages from the ancestors oracle cards and the first card we had out here was writer then they asked me to split the deck all right so it says holy one writer in reverse all right um so someone could be unable to use their words all right very uninspired to use their words this could be someone that is a holy person a divine person but they're not using their words um at this time they could be feeling uninspired at this time as well um someone could also have stage fright is what i'm hearing they have nothing to do. This, maybe this is someone that is a um, poet or something like that or this is someone who's a musician um who really has to put themselves out there and put their talents out there um on the spot type of situation all right um so we're just going to get started with the tarot deck as well so we have the strength card coming out here we got leo all right so this could be pertaining to a leo or you could be gaining the strength that you need or there could be a woman that is helping you to get your strength all right Spirit, what messages do you have from an overall collective for sagittarius what is going on what would you like for us to know divine beings we got the page of swords someone could be contacting you with the truth or someone could be getting ready to write the truth down somewhere all right someone is getting ready to speak their truth freely this could be someone that was having a hard time doing so all right very uninspired to speak up but now they've gotten the strength to do so there could have been a woman who did so um did this with them um b and j significance could um <laughs> initials could be significant all right um high priestess yeah someone could have um given you the truth about you know what you could do someone really inspired you you didn't have inspiration on your own but someone came and really helped you look at her she's opening this lion's mouth you see that how significant that is there's definitely a woman who came in, could have been a high priestess, someone who's very spiritual, someone who's gifted as well, a divine being herself could have came in. This is someone who you may have a lot of love for, all right, because of what she did. This could be someone you don't have um, have children with. Spirit, what else do you have for us? What else do you want for Sagittarius to know? This could have been someone who in the past tried to um, have you in a competition. This high priestess could be a Scorpio. We have the death card coming out. All right. This is a divine being. A divine feminine is what I'm getting, even though the Empress card isn't out here. But she is a holy one. She is a holy person, a divine being. All right. Um, this is someone who could have walked away from you, honestly. Sagittarius, they could have put an end to helping you out. All right. Or, yeah, if someone could have put an end, could have helped you to put an end to not being able to speak up. Just apply the roles as they fit. I have the five of wands out here. It's kind of turning to the upright, I'm going to show you. All right. So it wants to kind of go like this. So I'm going to just take it in the upright. This is someone who didn't, you could have, you know, been on the rocks about having them in a competition or you did have them in a competition or a third party in the past with this three of cups coming out in the reverse. But this was someone who wasn't cool with that. And this is someone who walked away from it. The Scorpio walked away from you trying to put them in a competition with someone else. Yeah, you were trying to be reluctant on um, what you gave to them, the cups that you poured into them. Yep, here you go, coming right out, Sagittarius, the balance, all right, with the four cups in reverse and the temperance card coming out here and the imprints in reverse. I'm getting that this is a woman who is a um she is divine but she doesn't have children with you or she may not be a mother all right um 
Yeah, that's what I'm getting in this situation. We have a three of um, swords in reverse, but this could be someone that you um, love or are in love with. Who could have left you out in the cold? You may not have wanted it because it wanted it came out in the wanted to come out in the reverse, but then it flipped straight up. Crazy. Yeah, you you kept this person in a third party, so they walked away from you. Or you could have brought balance to a situation by walking away from someone you have kids with. All right, you could have left this inference in reverse out in the cold. Someone who were pretending to be a um, inference. This could have been someone who you had in a third party as well. Yeah, but you no longer wanted to be deceptive or to try to play these women anymore. Yeah, you didn't have the drive in order for you to try to put up that fight anymore. And so you walked away. Spirit, clarify the nine of wands in reverse. What is this signifying? Oh, wow. All right, the magician. Yeah, someone um, manifested themselves out of, you know, having to fight for something or someone manifested them, their way out of, you know, being in this deceptive, sneaky-ass energy where they were trying to play these two women. Spirit clarify the seven of wands in reverse. All right, we got the nine of pentacles. Yeah, someone seen that that wasn't working. All right, someone seen, seen that that wasn't making them abundant. Someone was trying to cast illusions on someone, though, so that they could come up, but they realized it wasn't working because all it did was leave someone out in the cold. Someone was also trying to deceive someone for their money as well. That's another situation. Spirit clarify the three of cups in reverse. Ace of Wands came out sideways, yeah. Someone um, just found out some truth or someone just found out some new information that is basically, someone could have just found out that they were in a third party, I'm not gonna lie. Someone could have just found out that this person kept them in a third party, all right? If either it was you who kept someone in a third party, a Leo, okay? Or Scorpio, but I'm heavily getting a Scorpio walked away. We have the magician out here. This could be um, any sign. We also have you out here, okay? We have Pisces as well. And we have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, someone is a liar. All right, spirit third by the ace of swords in reverse. Who is this lying spirit? Six of cups. Someone from your past could have been a liar. Three of wands. Definitely someone who's looking at a new beginning now. Someone's looking at other opportunities. Someone who you had in the third party. Yeah, definitely was with the Ten of Pentacles, someone you had a family with. All right, they were a liar. It was this inference in reverse. You had children with her, but she wasn't a good mother. Definitely didn't raise her kids right with you, all right? And you left her out in the cold. Spirit clarified the Five of Pentacles in reverse. got the four of swords someone is definitely fucked up over this situation someone is definitely having a lot of anxiety as well as a lot of um headaches and heartache over this situation this is very stressful for someone this five of pentacles being left out in this cold emperor in reverse all right this could be an aries fire sign all right a father figure who may not be a good father we got the hangman. Someone has been enlightened. Someone was enlightened about this situation. What was this person enlightened about? Um, oh, the emperor in reverse. They were definitely enlightened. The spirit clarified um, the hangman.
We got the Ten of Swords in reverse. Someone was enlightened. This Emperor in reverse, he was enlightened by a situation. He could have been trying to keep someone in the third party and also found out that someone else had, had him as an option in the third party himself. So he met his match with this person. That's why they're both coming out as the Emperor in reverse and the Empress in reverse. They both had a family together. They're no longer, or they may still be in a family together, but these two people are no longer on the same page um, when it comes to this relationship because the um, temperance is coming to bring balance to him, his life. This is a karmic situation, the moon um, sideways. Yeah, someone is definitely um, starting to expose the truth, all right? They could be blocked at this time or could have been blocked or someone blocked them from a situation or blocked out, um, walked away from a situation and left this person stuck. And now this person is receiving bad karma. Why is this person receiving bad karma, Spirit? The chariot, progress, all right, judgment. Someone was um, playing with the devil. Yeah, someone, someone was in a, uh, in a relationship with had a family with, all right, could have been married to, no longer married or divorced from. They were playing games, the chariot, someone didn't move forward, or someone did move forward, but with the devil. And they're being judged by that, all right, by the actions that they took. They're being judged by the divine with the chariot, the devil, and judgment. Yes, someone made the wrong move and spirit stepped the fuck up just to let them know in the nick of time that was the wrong fucking move. Could have been a Libra, could have been a Capricorn, could have been a um, Cancer. But whatever the situation is, if this was you, um, Sagittarius, it was the wrong move. All right, juggling, yep, two of pentacles, trying to juggle someone. Spirit is not liking that. Um, I gotta know who you were trying to juggle. Spirit, clarify who was... Sagittarius trying to juggle. What are the energies? The higher fine in reverse. Ace of Cups. A new beginning. Not starting a new beginning. They're being judged for not starting a new beginning with someone they were trying to juggle. Who were they trying to juggle, Spirit? Is that the... Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. More clarification. Someone they didn't see growth with. All right. The higher final reverse. This could be someone that's a spiritual um, person, but this person didn't see you as that, or this person, you didn't see someone as a spiritual, or you guys were not on the same page, someone who you didn't have, share the same spiritual beliefs with is what I'm getting. You guys could have been on two different beliefs, um, wavelengths. Someone could have been religious. The other person could have been spiritual. Someone may not have been either. Maybe just atheists and don't believe in anything but science. But whatever you have it to be, this person definitely didn't move forward. They definitely was trying to juggle and they wanted to stay that way. All right. This person didn't want to start a new beginning. They didn't see any growth with someone a higher font all right and it caused them to be stagnated and now they're facing bad karma with the will of fortune a um leo a taurus a aquarius or a scorpio could be significant here okay there any hidden messages that you want us to know for sagittarius to close this message out all right what else spirit anything else I don't want it to come out so Leo out here again with this line and definitely out here. Leo is significant. Alright, so we got longing. We got emotional whirlwind. We got pride. Pride in the reverse. And we got shattered. So somebody's ego has been shattered, definitely destroyed. Someone has been heartbroken by someone walking away. This higher fine, all right? Walked away on that ass. Yeah, now someone is longing for a past love. They've been affected by them. Someone is definitely in love with this person. Could be a water sign with these, with these um, waves going up. 
someone has a lot of emotions for someone. That that they definitely was love struck by or love bombed by someone, and now they're stuck to someone. They can't seem to get over this person. Spirit, do you have any messages for us from Alice in the Wonderland? Day? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Spirit? be nothing somebody could still be the same way that they was it said law is not justice someone could have did something that was very unfair it says rules that is not fair all right but with it in the reverse something that is happening is fair judgment is being called all right this is fair what they're doing is some spirit is bringing balance to a situation, bringing balance to this situation because they thought that they were going to play a spiritual being. And that's just not how it's going to go. Messages for a rabbit, service to the animal world in the reverse. Someone isn't doing a service. Someone may not like animals either, but someone may be um, supposed to work for animals or someone may be a veterinarian, but they don't do what they're supposed to do. They could be, you know, um, torturing the damn pets. Someone could be torturing some pets, even they're not, even if they're not a veterinarian, they may have um, pets. So, or someone could be getting or supposed to get messages from um, animals, or, or could be connected to animals, but they don't listen. Or their, you know, third eye isn't completely open, or they they don't hear, they can't hear. Yes, everyone is a little different. This is a different divine being, but they don't know it because they're not paying attention. But that is what I have for you at this time with the reading. I'm just going to take some numerology to close this out for you, Sagittarius. We got Libra. We got Aquarius. We got Libra again. And we have Leo. Leo definitely came out. There's definitely a Leo in your energy. 1010 is out here. So there's a completion, an ending. 82 or 28 could be significant to someone. Okay. 810, 108 is significant. All right. But that is what I have for you at this time. So please do thumbs up the video. All right. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I definitely do appreciate you for stopping in. I definitely do welcome all of my returning viewers and new um, viewers as well. If you're a cross watcher, I urge you to check out the past videos that I did post. Okay. Because there could be a message out there for you and you may not know it. So go up there, check it out and see what's going on or go up, <laughs> scroll up to see what is out there for you. I appreciate everyone. I hope that you all have a blessed, prosperous, and fulfilled week. Welcome into Monday. I hope that everyone gets everything done that they need to have done, all right? I hope that you all are speaking all those positive affirmations out into the universe so that it can come back to you, all right? And make sure that you're getting you some study in. If you're not able to read a book, make sure you're listening to some audio books. Make sure you're learning and expanding your mind, okay? Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.